Hey everyone, welcome to a, a new video on Jeff the How-To Guy. Today we're going to be upgrading the Dell G5 that I went over on my channel. Um, we're going to be upgrading it to a 2 terabyte NVMe drive. This is a 970 Evo Plus and a 2 terabyte 2.5 inch uh, SanDisk SSD. And this is going to be kind of my my main machine here for a while. Um, I'm going to do a test to see if I can do everything that I would normally do um, on a desktop to see if I can do it on this laptop. So it's going to be kind of a, let's see if I can do a laptop as a desktop. I'm going to give it a trial for about one month and then I'm going to do a video on how that's gone so far. Then probably about six months. And so I'm hoping that I can find a laptop that will serve me well. Um, one that's both powerful and light and very functional. So I don't have to have a, both a desktop and a gaming laptop or a high powered laptop. And so this ships with a 512 gig NVMe drive. This model does, you can get it, I think a one terabyte or something. Um, so that's what it ships with. We're gonna just upgrade the storage. Take a look at the inside. Screwdriver's not doing so hot. <clears throat> I think those are captivated screws, kind of like they are on the Alienwares. Or at least my Alienwares have always had two captivated screws on the very back. And you want to make sure that, of course, your laptop is powered off. And you also want to have um, a USB with a recovery on it. It's kind of a given for any sort of install like this. So just try and pop the bottom off here. It's got some, I guess, pins on the inside or plastic that holds it on. Sometimes they can be quite tough to get off. These may not be kept. Screws. Definitely on here though. There we go. Should come off now, hopefully. Well, see what it snapped those. That ain't cool. 
So there it is with the back off. All we gotta do now is start adding stuff. So here's the screw for this. So let's take that off. There's one on there, one here. For the cover for the SSD. Looks like it's an SK Hynix, it's one of the small ones. Okay, I went and got my good screwdriver. That's cool, it just slides. It's pretty neat. Thought you had to take it off. So you just slide it back here. And see. Alright, pop it into place. Put your SSD in. So there's the new SSD. Go ahead and put this cover back on. Goes on like that. Go ahead and screw it into place. There we go, and now we have a two terabyte NVMe drive. It's pretty neat how they put those there. Those are so that you can, those screws are so that you can put it in a hard drive. They include uh, the little ribbon cable here 
to put it on to um, put it on your hard drive and stuff. that they do. Let's go ahead and take that out. Now it's time to put that on our SSD. However we want to do that. Preview like that. Looks good. Do what we're actually going to do it like. these screws placed here on the side. So that we can attach the hard drive. Now of course you can order this with uh, the hard drive already in it, but hey, why would you do that, you know what I'm saying? It is actually meant to go So, I had to flip the drive over uh, based upon the way that the SSD orients to get screw in. So, let's take it out. Screw in, we'll take it, we'll put it in here, like that. Connect the HDD ribbon. Where it says HDD. My fingers are too fat for this. I'll tell you that much right now.
Sagate. No. I just want to really make sure it's in there. Then they're good. the prettiest thing that's for sure it's cool they put an alienware battery in this There we go, that's everything installed. So now all we have to do is put the back back on. See if we can get screwed down, screw everything in. That's kind of silly, they should put more ventilation there. to do to replace the storage and add some storage in your Dell G5. Stay tuned for the next video when we see if it will actually work. Hey, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Adios.